Okay, I saw there's just something else interesting. Uh, I saw this great tutorial. I'll put a link to the tutorial on how to texture map a, a racing driver's helmet. Uh, and it was really quite impressive. Although one of the th thing, features, the way the chap had done it, was basically um, use a vertex color mask um, as... Uh, so I'm just going to create a, a vertex color thing. Um, as a way of painting in another texture. So let's say we've got a moss texture, uh, image texture, open, try playing that moss, so that's this one. Okay, so let's check that out. Great, okay. So the way he did it was just basically he had a mix, I think, uh, was it mix, or mix color? I think it was, it was a mix color. Um, and you'll see, and the, and the way he did it was with a. Now this is the thing. He, I, I sort of tried to say this for vertex, but because type vertex, you know, to link to the color. But the thing is, they move it to the attribute editor now, and you have to type. I think it's this whole fields thing and the geometry. You know, they change stuff. I mean, Blender always seems to change stuff. So the way to do it is get the um, uh, typing color, so it knows what vertex thing to look for, and then plug the color into the factor. I think that was the way he did it. Um, and now, if we go to our vertex paint, we should be able to paint the moss in, you know, sort of a bit like substance. I mean, okay, it's it's um, it's, it's vertex. Can we make it a bit uh, less? Yeah, you so said we're slightly limited by the resolution of the geometry, um, but still quite nice um, way of. Oh, we're getting the older uh, cat's ass. Um, can we change that to flat projection? Let's just see if we can go change the mapping so it's a bit better. Oh, the way, yeah, there's something else. Um, use the create a new, um, uh, cr create a new UV map and then go project. We're going to go project UV, go to the new, uh, which one are we on? I think we are on the new one. And then uh, create an empty as a sort of reference point. Um, object add empty, just plane axis, okay. And then select the thing, select the plane axis, empty. And then we should be able to go. Um, uh, UV map, choose the new one that we generated, stick it in there. That should look a lot better, and it does look a lot better. It looks terrible at the side, but we're not worried about the side because we're gonna we're gonna um, use the uh, mix. So that goes just connects to that. We'll go into there. There you go. It doesn't look terrible. I mean, yeah, it just still could do be sharper on. I mean, I guess you could use a natural map um, and paint into the map as opposed to use the vertex thing, uh, yeah, vertex color. But it was this whole business of, I couldn't find the vertex color node. So, and it's because the you, you have to use the attribute node and type in color. Okay, so that's it.